Tech Tips, Episode 3. Today we're going to learn how to change audio file types. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change this MP4 into an MP3 file. So go right up to the Start menu, click on iTunes, cancel there, and let's bring in the MP4. Scene 2. Scene 2, and you can just select uh, Day Added and have it sort by that, and then your Scene 2 will be at the top. Now from here, if you right-click, there will be Create Apple Lossless Version. Now, we need to change this so that we can make it into an MP3. So how we change that option is you go up here to Edit, go to Preferences, and come right down here to Import Settings. Make sure you're on the Generals tab. Go down to import settings, click there, and change this import using Apple Lossless Encoder. I want to change that to MP3 Encoder, and then you can hit OK, and then hit OK down here. And then come right back up to scene 2, right click, and there'll be create MP3 version. And just select that, and your MP3 version will be right here. And if you're going to use that um, you know, later, you can just drive it back down onto your desktop and it'll be on your desktop now, the MP3 version. So put it to that. The track was narrow and quite dangerous. Okay, and then with this WAV file, we're going to change this into a MP4. So let's bring that WAV file in. Okay, there's the prologue right there. Now, if we right-click, you're going to say that you're going to see that it says create MP3 version. So we do need to change that back or to a different one. So go up here to edit preferences again and we're gonna go right down here to import settings and change this to Apple lossless encoder and then hit OK. OK. We're just going through this process again essentially. We're just changing the option in the drop down menu. Then come right over here to create Apple lossless version and that sound means that it's done right there and there you have it. And you can use that on different sites. Uh, it's depending on the site, you'll either take MP3s or MP4s or WAV or, or any other file types. And that's just a good way to change them quickly and easily without having to download any other software. Just use it right within iTunes. Okay, uh, if you have any other questions, leave them in the comments. If you have any suggestions for the show, leave those as well. And we will see you next time.